All right, so check this out. I wanted to get these and show you guys the difference between this right here. I soaked them starting last night. So this is what they look like. By This is usually when I start to soak is when I do the evening rinse. So it's like, you know, five-ish, four-ish, six-ish, somewhere in the evening, you know. This right here is on the end of the third day. So they've gotten their tails and they've gotten their little leaves now. And these will probably be ready tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, I'll probably, I mean, I could probably start eating these right now, but they'll be even better tomorrow because they'll get a little plumper after a night's rinse and they'll just be a little bit better. All right. So I just want to show you that and then I'll show them again to you tomorrow when I take them out and what these look like tomorrow. So you get an example of how quickly they grow and how quickly you can get the cycle going for your microgreens. Because seriously, they're, they're super, super simple. All right, let me take you outside real quick. Go Dodgers. I'm gonna go out here, it's a little windy, but I wanted to show you these on camera real quick. Man, it's such a gorgeous afternoon too. <laughs> All right, so the beans are going insane, but let me turn it around right here. The wind's going crazy right now, so I gotta stop this, but check this out. So the flower comes out, right? And as the flower dies off and gets pushed out, it turns in to the bean. Can you guys see that? Oh, okay, there we go. Keeps moving, but I'm gonna show you guys these again in the morning because they, they get bigger pretty quickly. And it was just crazy. I came out this morning and I didn't know that's what happened with the beans, but they literally come straight out of the flower. So that was pretty fun. So, see what happens in the morning. Yeah, so here's the studio. Give you guys a little tour. Everybody say hi to Susie. It's a nice uh, little overcast day. It's not bad. We're gonna come in the back door here. Welcome to the guild. This is our slab roller. If you come in, we'll teach you how to use it. We got some wheels right here. And then Merrick is unloading the bisque fire that we just had. The two kilns. This is where we put everything that's about to get fired. And then this is our workstation. This is my little leaf burner that just came out of the bisque fire. So I'll get to glaze that today. These are the tiles that are ready to be glazed. But I am waiting for these to get glazed or to get fired. They're already glazed and I'm testing some uh, glazes that I got. So I gotta wait for those. And then that's a little sneak peek at Merrick's burner. It's like a little mushroom patch. Super dope. Came out awesome. Can't wait to see what that looks like after the glaze fire. Here's a few things that others are working on in the shop. All right, let's walk this way. We're gonna go this way. These are just all the work spots. We haven't been here long enough to get our work area as cool as these, you know. They've been here a while. And then we're gonna walk out here to the front of the shop. These are the work tables. This is where the class will be today. And then this is also our little gallery area. So any of the humans that are a part of the guild, when you make stuff, you can have a little shelf out here and you can put your stuff out and little price tags. And so you can see, they give you a code so they know who made it and how much it is. And then people can come in here off the street and while we're open, like right now we're open, people came in and I would sell them stuff or at least, you know, if they wanted to buy stuff. But this is the guild. It's our little front desk. Uh, local person makes homemade soaps. These are the, uh, I think this is the hot process soap. I'm not a big fan of that stuff as much, but it smells super good. But yeah, so that's the guild. All right, so here we go. Real quick now, this is the end of day three 
It's uh, 7 o'clock my time, so I was a little late today because we just got back from the Potter's Guild. But you can see all the little tails forming now. And these were little this morning, and they've kind of grown that throughout the day. So that's what they look like at the end of day three. Now check these out. Here we go. Look at this. That's how much they filled out the jar from yesterday, which you'll be able to see in the videos. Yeah, look at this. I was gonna wait another day, but new. I want some. I want some now, yeah, but look at how many you get. And that's just an eighth of a cup of seeds in four days and rinsing it with water.